law enforcement, first responders, um, all of them experience varied levels of trauma. And due to the trauma and dangerous situations our local officers do encounter, the Family Resiliency Center is a resource. Our law enforcement and first responders are definitely one of our target populations to offer support and care and healing. And the FRC also helps these officers' families as well. Because we have to make sure that we are taking care of the whole family unit and not just the person who's on the front line, so to speak. That they're getting the help and support that they need, but also that their spouses or partners are getting that same level of support. Because we miss that part all too often, where law enforcement, we know what they go through to an extent because we see it. Even over at the Odessa Police Department, they make sure their officers are tended to with their peer support program. But at the police department in particular, we do have a peer support program that is just, you know, uh, a peer-to-peer sit-down talking session where you can talk out those difficulties you're having. Um, the, our peer team is specially trained to deal with those things. OPD Chief Gerke expresses the importance of checking in with his team and making sure they are safe and okay. As they go through um, the, the police academy and, and their early training, you absolutely they're told about all the the uh, resources that are there for them that uh, if they need it. What we tell our officers and, and our employees when they come to work here, we want you to work here for 20, 25, 30 years, as long as you want to work here, right? And when you leave, we want you to have your physical health, your financial health, and your mental health for that next phase of your life. There's, there's life beyond your Odessa Police Department, and we want you to enjoy that. For News West 9, I'm Christina Burgess.